Hello ladies, Barbara here. Do you remember any of you who had children? We would pour over that book, What to Expect When You're Expecting, because we wanted to know what was coming. And I'm here today to talk about what to expect in menopause so that when you, things happen, you won't be dismayed, you won't be worried, and you'll be proactive. Okay, menopause. We're talking about the time when your cycles have stopped for one year. Before that, they'll start to get irregular. They could be scanty, heavy, shorter, longer. You're skipping and then you'll have two in one month. This is perimenopause. As we go into menopause, the ovaries gradually cease to function and this upsets the balance of our hormones. So, this is normal. It's a phase of life, not a disease. Your body will eventually settle down. You can breeze through menopause just as I did. I'm no different than you. Now you may ask, what age will I be when I go through menopause? Well, the average age is 51, but that's an average. Some women uh, go into menopause at age 45, others up to 55. If you know what age your mom reached menopause, you will have a very good barometer for yourself. Okay, on to what to expect and what to do about it. And I want to just say this in the beginning. A lot of you call me and you go, oh, Barbara, and they'll tell me a symptom. And you really think there's something very wrong with you. So once you're prepared with these um, expectations, you won't feel that way. Okay, the famous one, hot flashes. Most of us will have them and they do not have to be debilitating. In fact, I'll tell you, I was waiting to have my first hot flash because I wanted to see what it was like. Well, it's not as bad as you might think, but if you have too many during the day or at night, it is annoying. Now, don't despair. There are natural remedies to help you. Progesterone was my secret weapon and keeping it in the fridge was even better. And you can put it on during a flash as well as your usual daily dose. Also, great remedies, vitamin E, 400 I use twice per day, sage, or a progesterone estrogen blend. Email me for my handout. I've got a hot flash handout. And those of you who write to me know I'm a handout queen, so I have a lot available. One more thing about hot flashes, a silver lining. Did you know that women who have hot flashes are considered to have better vessel health than women who do not? Remember that when you feel like a house on fire. All right, weight gain. This is a big one. Once our ovaries shut down from making progesterone, which stops when we stop ovulating, estrogen becomes the dominant, 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 I wish it was dormant, becomes the dominant hormone. And estrogen, ladies, is the fat storage hormone. So use your progesterone and eat a high protein diet because carbs feed insulin, which is another fat storage hormone. I'm over 65 and I am prevailing, so can you. If you have the dreaded muffin top, an estrogen detox can help you. Now, to detox excess estrogens, you want to use a supplement containing D-I-M, all caps, DIM. Use it for three months and that'll detox excess estrogens that can be causing your weight gain. You can email me if you want my personal DIM recommendation or look for one that gives you 300 milligrams of DIM per day. There's another hormone that's available over the counter and not expensive that heads off weight gain. That's DHEA. DHEA also raises libido and um, helps bones and is wonderful for energy. Okay, hair loss. We lose hair as we age because follicles get old and they want to close up shop. No, progesterone can help keep those follicles open. Also, keratin, biotin, and collagen supplements will keep your hair prone to growth and promote luster and fullness. 
Now, if you have a lot of hair loss and it came on suddenly, your androgens, which are your male hormones, may be trying to take over. Saw palmetto will stop the conversion of your androgens into a substance called DHT, which causes hair loss and causes follicles to close. You can have beautiful hair for the rest of your life. Start now. Don't call me when you've lost like, you know, a year's worth of hair. Let's get going. Okay, this is another goodie that you can expect. Vaginal dryness. Now, there's nothing wrong with you. As your hormones decline, the vaginal tissue takes a hit. Grab some DHEA or estriol suppositories. I've got a DHEA I can offer you, and I've got a pure estriol. Um, you can look around, um, go to a doctor. They usually give you Premarin, which is the horse urine cream. Um, I'm not a fan, but it does work, but horse urine. Ugh. Okay, so keep your suppositories on hand. At the first sign of dryness, head it off. Use the suppositories for seven days or a 10. Then, as needed, your vaginal tissue will stay moist, plump, and lubricated no matter what your age. One of my ladies who called said she had suffered for 20 years with vaginal dryness and no one had helped her. Her doctor had not sympathized and said, oh, just apply some Crisco down there. Yikes. No, you need hormones, not trans fatty acids. Crisco? Oh. Okay, moving on. Libido. Libido suffers when women start to feel dry, old, and tired. The vaginal suppositories I just talked about will help. Also, the hormone DHEA raises testosterone in women and will help you feel lively and vibrant and make that man across the room look even better to you. The brain, depression, anxiety. Brain chemistry can alter with age. Your GABA, which keeps you calm, can diminish. Your serotonin, which keeps you happy, can diminish. Two great supplements are GABA, G-A-B-A, -A, all caps, and 5-HTP to keep those neurotransmitters strong and to keep you feeling joyful. I want to be the lady when people say, Barbara's coming over, what fun! Not, oh no, Barbara's coming over, run! I take my GABA in the morning and my 5-HTP at night. Dry and wrinkly skin. Lowered hormones lead to lowered collagen. Ester C, peptides, progesterone, and retinol will help you rebuild collagen and prevent collagen loss from progressing. Choose good active skin care products which will prevent or reverse wrinkles and sagging. I've seen plain moisturizers that are not going to do anything for you that are more expensive than my favorite active products. Don't fall for it. And I often put my progesterone or estrogen directly on my face. The skin loves hormones. Memory. The foggy brain syndrome. For most of you, it probably began in your late 40s. And if we don't address it, it just begins to get worse. I recommend a supplement called phosphatidylserine for memory. It promotes brain function, memory and cognition, and even brain repair. So you will not lose your intelligence as you get older. In fact, you can be smarter and stronger in cognition. And we must talk about them bones. Bone density can suffer in menopause as the hormones go low. But remember this, in addition to all of its other wonderful benefits, progesterone helps to rebuild new bone. New bone is strong bone. So if you use your bioidentical progesterone daily, you can be building strong bones. Another good supplement is the DHEA I talked about. Now I have an osteoporosis video. If you want to watch it, I'll put the link below. I've also got the osteoporosis handout that you can write for. 
Okay, finally, you ask, Barbara, how will I know if I'm going through menopause if I've had a hysterectomy? Well, ladies, hysterectomy is surgical menopause. Most women transition gradually through menopause. It might be 10 years of transition, but you went through it instantly via surgery. If the doctors left your ovaries, uh, that'll take a little longer to shut down, maybe uh, two to five years after the hysterectomy. They atrophy, shrivel, and your hormone output becomes minimal or none at all. So a natural progesterone or natural progesterone estrogen cream can be your answer. Inexpensive, available over the counter. I've got two here that I like. Um, these are mine. Um, if you want to write for the cream flyer, I can show you the dose because I want you to get the right dose. Uh, you never have to buy anything from me. I just show you my favorite products. Okay, so you would use the cream 25 days of the month, stop, take a three to five day break, and start again. It's easy. Okay, the takeaway. Menopause is a natural part of our life cycle, not a disease to be treated with synthetic drugs. Don't go there. And yes, your estrogen and progesterone levels will decrease, but don't be afraid. Just take proactive steps. My first one would be the bioidentical uh, progesterone cream. Now, um, I want you to know that you can take all of these expectations and be proactive and you can breeze through and I want you to breeze through. Call or email me if you need more help. I promise to answer. Just give me 48 hours. I have 30 years of experience with hormone balance and I want to help you.